Instant replays coming in the NFL for pass interference. It's happening. It's it's the uh, it's going down. And because offensive and passive, uh, offensive and defensive pass interference are now reviewable plays. This is the this is the twist, the O Henry like twist that was introduced to us at the NFL Media Group Symposium last week by well, last, two days ago by Al Riveron, the head of NFL refs. Is that because review when it's opened up? to look at something, and anything that's reviewable can be reviewed anew when it's just just opening up the process. Anything that's reviewable that if caught, like let's say we want to review uh, whether there was a fumble on the play and you as the defense are um, have recovered it, and the offense challenges or the defense challenges for whatever reason, let's just put it this way, and it's revealed that the defense had 12 men on the field because that's a reviewable play. Suddenly, you don't get the ball anymore. An unintended consequence of opening up replay sometimes will happen. Now, when you're looking at defensive pass interference and hoping to get a defensive call, and because they're going to depend only on what the networks show them, that's it. And if somehow, some way. You can't tell because arms are in the way, legs are in the way, and other person's in the way. Like naked eye, you might have thought you saw it. Flag comes out or it doesn't. Let's just say you want a defensive pass interference call and didn't get one. You throw a challenge flag. After further review, we could not tell if there was defensive pass interference on your offensive receiver. But we did see your offensive receiver push off because that's a reviewable play now. So guess what? You want a defensive pass interference. It's now on you, 10 yards back. This sort of stuff's going to happen. So maybe it might lead to fewer challenges during the game. Like you best be sure that the defensive pass interference that you're hoping to get through replay doesn't lead to you getting an offensive pass interference penalty or maybe even vice versa. But you don't think every receiver thinks they get interfered with? Well, and that's the reason why people don't want this sort of stuff reviewed by replay because it can be seen that right. way. Every play, every like, could you imagine if holding on the line of scrimmage was now reviewable? Exactly. There's, you could make a case that there's a hold on every play. Just like in the NBA, you could make a case that there's a foul underneath the basket every play. It's only for one year. We're going to see how it all works out. But I'm wondering if you could pass a rule to say what you're what you're if you're asking for replay for help on a pass interference call, if it's revealed to have offensive or defensive pass interference in the same play, you can't you can't that you remove pass interference from the usual bucket of replay that anything's up for grabs once you open the review process. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's pass interference is just a special case that once you review it, if you're looking for defensive pass interference, that's all you're looking for. Right. You can't. If you're looking for offensive pass interference, that's all you're looking for. You can't, just because you're opening up the process, now make both offense and defensive pass. If, if yeah. you're not asking for it. Yeah, then why should it be looked at? Especially since the reason called. to do this, the reason to do this is to prevent egregious errors from happening again, not stopping a brilliant live action sport to look at a crucial play and break it down like it was shot by Zapruder. That's not why we're doing this. We're doing this to close a loophole of the most egregious error from occurring again. That's why we're doing this. And I'm wondering if my Canadian friends who are listening to this conversation are like, chill, we have it in the CFL. It works every year. I guess we just have it's to coming. see it in action. Yeah, it is coming. And like you said, if it's a big disaster, they'll just scrap it after one after year. And, and, then, and, then, and, then and then it'll we're go done back the way it. it was. Yeah. But as, uh, as, as, we've, as I saw a couple days ago, a Super Bowl could be affected by it. Because the play that they want to have reviewed is the Brandon Cooks play in where Stephon Gilmore interfered with him, but it wasn't called in the field of play. They want the Super Bowl to be stopped. Well, not, they, they, they will, because it was with four minutes to go. I was going to say that wasn't they, under two minutes, they, right? They, they, they want, if a, cha- a coach challenges that, 
McVay wanted to challenge that. They want that reviewed, and they want the flag put down by replay. The replay judge puts a flag on the field. And I proffer to say, you know, you never know. We have seen interceptions thrown on the goal line in the Super Bowl before. I would think that the next play by the Rams would have been different than the next play the Rams actually had, which was an interception. But, and I I I I don't remember, when that play happened, the Gilmore-Cooks play, were people saying that was interference? I I said it on the spot in the stadium. That looked like interference to me. We looked up on the screen and I saw Gilmore. But did they say it on in. the broadcast? I don't know. I was in the stadium. Right. I don't remember. But as you know, I came. I. I. I you did. You did come in the next day. Three thirty a.m. flight that was delayed because somebody vomited in the back of the plane. Because I guess they had too much to drink at Super Bowl Fifty Three. Sorry and about showed that. up here. You know, it's okay. But show and showed up here. Did the show the next day. I said, say, sitting here, I'm like, that's past yeah, interference. You, yeah, you did say it. Well, now the NFL would say that's not only pass interference, but they, they, they through review, would change it. But that would have had to have been challenged on the spot by Correct, by Sean McVay, correct. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.